Hello children, I hope you are feeling happy and strong today. I welcome you to this special English hour. Today we will sing, dance and listen to stories. So, bacho, aaj hum gaane gaenge, dance karenge aur kahaniya sunenge. Are you ready to have some fun? Come closer to the TV and join me in a fun song. Apne TV ke nasdeek aayye aur mere saath gaane mein chur jaayye. One bucket, two bucket, three bucket, four. Bend down your knees and jump up the sky. Now let's try to reach the sky. Five bucket, six bucket, seven bucket, eight. Jump up the sky. Hi to all the clouds. Now let's say hi to all the clouds. Nine bucket ten. Let's dance around with them. Rum baka shum baka boom baka dum. Children, I hope you enjoyed singing and dancing with me. Children, do you like to be in a group with friends? Kya aapko dosto ke saath rehna pasand hai? Yes, we all love to be in a group with friends. Hum sab ko dosto ke saath rehna bohat pasand hai. Now, tell me, what do you understand by unity? Unity ka matlab kya hai? Unity means that we all should always stay together. Hum sab hamesha ek saath rehne chahiye. Ekta ka matlab hota hai ki hum sab hamesha saath rehe. Children, what will happen if we always quarrel with our friends or our siblings? Bacho, agar hum apne dosto se ya apne bhai behen se hamesha jhagarte rahenge, to kya hoga? We all may get separated from them. Hum unse dur ho sakte hai. That is the reason we should never quarrel with our friends or siblings. Isi liye hume apne friends ya bhai behen se kabhi jhagarna nahi chahiye. Children, do you think that we should stay in unity? And if we do not stay in unity, will we succeed in our work? Kya aapko lagta hai? कि अगर हम यूनिटी में ना रहे तो क्या हम अपने काम में 
सफलता प्राप्त कर सकते हैं नो इफ यू आर नॉट इन यूनिटी वी के नॉट सक्सीड इन लाइफ अगर हम सब एक साथ नहीं रहते तो हम कभी सक्सीड नहीं कर पाएंगे नाउ डू यू थिंक वी शुड ऑल लिव इन यूनिटी टू सॉल्व आर प्रॉब्लम्स क्या आपको लगता है हमें एक साथ रहना चाहिए जिससे हम अपने सारे प्रॉब्लम्स सॉल्व कर सकते हैं यस वेन वी लिव इन यूनिटी वी बिकम मोर स्ट्रॉगर एंड वी कैन सॉल्व आर प्रॉब्लम्स टूगेदर जब हम यूनिटी में रहते हैं हम ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाते हैं और हम सारे प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर सकते हैं चिल्ड्रेन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट फ्यू न्यू वर्ड्स तो बच्चों चलो अब हम कुछ नए शब्द सीखेंगे द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज यू एन I T Y Unity 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 We should always live in unity My friends and I believe in unity The second word is Q U A R R E L L I N G quarreling 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 two girls are quarreling in the class I do not like quarreling with my sister. The third word is S E P E R A T E D separated 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 I separated books and pencils from the box. The teacher separated boys and girls on the playground. The fourth word is S U C C E E D succeed 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 my friend will succeed in the competition he will succeed in the race the fifth word is s t r o n g e r stronger 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 i am stronger than my younger brother we are stronger than you children it's textbook time we'll read a chapter from the textbook named unity is strength बच्चों अब हम एक चैप्टर पढ़ेंगे जिसका नाम है यूनिटी इज स्ट्रेंथ ओपन योर बाल भारती बुक्स टू पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी वन आप अपनी बाल भारती बुक को पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी वन पर ओपन कीजिए यू मे पॉइंट योर फिंगर टू द वर्ड्स एज आई रीड इट फॉर यू एंड इफ यू डू नॉट हैव अ टेक्सट बुक You may listen to me carefully. बच्चों आप अपनी उंगलियों को कुछ इस तरह शब्द पर रखिए और अगर आपके पास टेक्स्ट बुक नहीं है तो आप मुझे गौर से सुन सकते हैं 
Let's get started. Children, let's read story time. Unity is strength. An old man lived with his four sons in a village. The old man was worried. His sons were always quarreling with each other. They would never agree on any point. The old man had tried telling them many times to avoid fighting. But his sons would not listen to him. They would fight for everything. One day he called his four sons. He gave them a small bundle of sticks and asked them to break the bundle into two. It's so easy, said the eldest son. He took the bundle and tried to break it. He was surprised that the sticks in the bundle remained unbroken. He used more force. He tried again and again, but the bundle of sticks did not break. He gave up. Then his brothers tried to break the bundle of sticks. They tried hard, but they too could not succeed. Their father smiled and asked them to untie the bundle. Now the sticks were separated. He gave each brother a single stick and asked them to break it. Each of the sons took a stick in hand. In no time, the sticks were bent and broken. A single stick is easily broken. If four sticks come together, it is impossible to break them. If you are united, help each other and live in friendship, you will be stronger than any enemy. But if you are divided among yourselves and keep fighting, you will be as weak as the single stick in that bundle. Children, now let's turn the page to page number 22. Remember, united we stand, divided we fall, said the 
old man giving his sons a meaningful look this time the brothers learned a lesson they stopped fighting with each other they started to work together as a team and that really helped them in this paragraph we saw that there was an old man who lived with his four sons he was always worried about them because they used to fight a lot the old man used to tell his sons not to fight but they never listened to their father is paragraph mein humne dekha ki ek boodha aadmi apne char beto ke sath rehta hai uske bete hamesha aapas mein jhagadte rehte hain वो अपने बेटे को समझाता है कि आपस में झगड़ना नहीं चाहिए परंतु ये बच्चे अपने पिताजी की बात नहीं सुनते हैं इन दिस पैराग्राफ वी सॉ दैट द ओल्ड मैन डिसाइडेड टू टीच अ लेसन टू हिज फोर सन्स ही टोल्ड हिज सन्स टू break a bundle of sticks into two every son tried to break the bundle but nobody could break it is paragraph mein humne dekha ki wo boodha aadmi apne bachcho ko sabak sikhane ke bare mein sochta hai wo apne beto se kehta hai कि तुम इस लकड़ी के बंडल को तोड़कर दिखाओ उसके बेटे एक एक करके ट्राई करते हैं परंतु वो असफल हो जाते हैं यह वी सॉ दैट द ओल्ड मैन अनटाइट द बंडल एंड गेव वन वन स्टिक टू ईच सन all four sons were able to break the sticks into two so the father explained to his sons that if you all four stay together then no one can harm you he explained the importance of unity and strength he said if you always fight with each other you will become weak so always stay together and do not fight yahan humne dekha ki unke pitaji ne ek ek lakdi todne ko kaha tab unhe safalta mili उनके पिताजी ने अपने बेटों को ये सलाह दी कि हमेशा एक साथ रहना चाहिए और उसी तरह वो मुसीबतों का सामना कर पाएंगे और अगर वो झगड़ा ही करते रहेंगे तो कोई भी उन्हें आसानी से हरा सकता है इसलिए हमेशा एक साथ रहना चाहिए सो चिल्ड्रेन ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर that united we stand and divided we fall all four sons learned a lesson after that day and they stopped fighting with each other they started working together as a team and it was helpful for them चार बेटों को एहसास हुआ कि एकता में ही सबकी भलाई है उसके बाद वो चारों भाई एक साथ
काम करते थे ये बहुत ही फायदेमंद था फ्रॉम दिस लेसन वी लर्न यूनाइटेड वी स्टैंड एंड डिवाइडेड वी फॉल वी शुड ऑलवेज स्टे टूगेदर एंड दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम चिल्ड्रन वी ऑल हैड अ गुड टाइम लर्निंग सिंगिंग एंड डांसिंग टूडे इट्स नाउ टाइम that you sit back and enjoy while i tell you a wonderful story before we start the story i want to ask you something when you are hungry do you eat alone or do you like to eat with your family jab bhi aapko bhook lagti hai to kya aap akele khana khate ho या क्या आपको सारी फैमिली के साथ खाना पसंद है आई लव टू ईट फूड विथ माई होल फैमिली नाउ लेट्स रीड अ सिमिलर स्टोरी द नेम ऑफ द स्टोरी इज पॉरिच द स्टोरी इज रिटन बाय लैंगीवी जोंदी एंड जिम्बिली लामिनी Zama is getting ready for school. Dad is cooking porridge for breakfast. Zama school jaane ki taiyari kar raha hai aur uske daddy uske liye porridge bana rahe hain. Zama says, "Mom makes the best porridge." सामा कहता है कि उसकी मॉम सबसे बेस्ट पॉरिज बनाती है पॉरिज गिव्स हिम एनर्जी सामा को पॉरिज एनर्जी देता है द पॉरिज इज रेडी डैड पोर्स मिल्क इन द पॉरिज विथ लव पॉरिज अप तैयार हो गया है सामा सेस डैड आई थिंक दिस पॉरिज नीड्स लिटिल मोर शुगर सामा कहता है कि पॉरिज में थोड़ी सी शक्कर की जरूरत है मॉम्स पॉरिज टेस्ट बेटर देन Dad's porridge thinks Sama. Sama सोचता है कि मम्मा जो पॉरेज बनाती है वो डैड की पॉरेज से ज्यादा टेस्टी होता है ही टेल्स इज डैड टू गिव हिम सम शुगर उसे डैड को कहता है कि प्लीज मुझे थोड़ी सी शक्कर दे दीजिए वो डैड You put salt in my porridge," says Zama. Zama कहता है, "Dad, आपने मेरे पॉरेज में शक्कर की बजे नमक डाल दिया है." Now, Zama asks his father, "When will Mom be home?" Finally, Zama उसके डैड से पूछता है कि मम्मा घर पर कब आएगी? I hope. You like the story. In this story, we saw that Sama's dad prepares porridge for him. But Sama feels that the porridge needs some sugar. He finally thinks that the porridge that his mother makes is more tastier than the porridge his हमने इस कहानी में देखा कि जामा के डैडी उसके लिए पॉरिज बनाते हैं पर जामा को ऐसा लगता है कि पॉरिज में थोड़ी शक्कर की कमी है और वो ये सोच में पड़ जाता है कि मम्मी जो पॉरिज बनाती है वो ज्यादा टेस्टी होता है प्लीज टेक हेल्प ऑफ योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स एंड ड्रॉ अ बॉल एंड 
color it with your favorite colors and write the names of the colors that you have used. I will see you in the next session. Until then, take care, stay safe and bye-bye.